here knows about it because. What's good, guys? Hey, what's, what's up, up Billy? What's good, what's up? Man, right? Can you see me or no? No, no not yet. Can't. Just give me a second, real quick. All right, we're. Should be the button at the top. Welcome to the podcast, Yeezy Season 2, Episode 13. And of course, on Episode 13, who are we missing? Zeke, because that motherfucker is stuck in between San Francisco and Los <laughs> Angeles County right now. However, we do have a special guest with Aqua Joey, as well as the co-hosts, Castro Picasso and AKA Pro. I think that was the most professional shit I've ever done as far as intro. <laughs> And, and it, it, it just so happened on 13, right? That's crazy. That is not a good lucky number at all. Boring ass. That was, yo, you know what's crazy? <laughs> what happened? That was uh that was the the same uh so 13 when I was on the other show. <laughs> Ed, edit that out. <laughs> He's like, I'm glad this ain't mine. Someone was like, oh, Uncle Joey remembers them. Oh shit, oh yeah, send send words. Hey, you gotta go. <laughs> So what's Zeke on vacation? Uh, what are we wearing? Nah, so, nah, Zeke basically uh, <laughs> he wants to go do something. I think he got oh, kicked. Wait. Yo, I'm doing it right now. There you go. There you, you go. see me now. There you go. There you go. You got the new port shirt I'm, on. Oh, he's telling. Yeah, something. you already know, bro. There you go, bro. We see you now. All right, so um, we're gonna start this one without Zeke because usually we have all the members here to do this. But what are we wearing today? And I'll start with Castro because he don't talk a lot. So, Castro, what are we wearing? What do you mean I don't talk a lot? I feel like I talk a lot. You say hey, yo a lot. Hey, yo, what the fuck? That was good. All right. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Got my Griselda merch. Buffalo okay. Kids. Got some dickies. These are some oversized skater boys dickies. They're super, like, wide. But they're cool. Got the two locks. Got the two on. Of course, 500 highs. Got this vintage NY cap. Real old. Yo, I swear, Castro would be the only type of dude to be in another state entirely and still wear all New York shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. What that's the only doing? logo I always, that's the only logo I identify with. You won't catch me wearing a LA logo hat. I just can't do it. I know. I don't and know you why can't even wear it. UD does it. You can't even wear certain it. hats out there, anyways. Nah, yeah, you can. But Castro, That's another thing. Castro wears every color hat. This is the safest thing you could ever do out yeah, here. Yeah, there you go. Except if it was navy blue, then they ask questions. If it's the navy blue hat and you're in that side of town, there's there. But I'm, yeah, I'm nah. just chilling. Where I know I'm at. that. I know that one. I'm chilling All where right. I'm at though. I'm in a good little hey, area. Bro, what are we rocking with today? Uh, man, I got on my Yeezy hoodie, Yeezy Gap, Yeezy Gap. and uh, that's about it. <laughs> Yeezy Gap, that's let's fucking go. Oh, Gap, that's it. I ain't wearing nothing else. <laughs> Yo, the way he said it, though, like, let's not, just a few months ago, that was just a thing we were expecting. Now yeah. people are getting them, and he's yeah. wearing them. I got on the iridescent uh, essential shorts and then some wave runners. Oh, that's what those were? Oh, oh she got the wave runners. Oh, wait a minute. He bust out the waves? What the hell is going on there? That's the best easy he tried ever. Flip-flop. And that's the uh, Got Him Bamboozle. Oh, jerky. shit. Okay. Through the Travis Scott. That's a good tee. That's a good tee. <laughs> nice oversized joint. And then a uh, essentials cap, you know. Right. Got to get extra fly while I do this homework. <laughs> I don't see you, Uncle. What we got? What we got? Man, Uncle? man, don't don't even ask me, man. I'm I'm wearing a uh, bullshit house clothes right now. So what? You you seen any of the previous episodes? He says so what? <laughs> yeah, Lord, ba- he I, probably I doesn't have on socks right now. I, I, no, no, I got socks on. I got mixed match socks on. <laughs> but Joey's Joey. like, should I? Should I? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> little, little, uh, little, little vintage Newport shirt, uh, champion sweatpants. The, the shirt speaks for it all right now. That's that's it. 
We'll leave yeah. it at that. Yeah, he's really the in the shirt home. looks vintage. Yeah, no, I, I think it's got to be from like the nineties for yep. sure. Yeah. Vintage for they sure. Don't have, like the Newport colors is not that color anymore. So it's, it's vintage like, for sure. Nah, no, yeah. Our logo, yeah, no, it's all gone. That shirt goes with the Wave Runners. No, LA's that's exactly snapback. why I bought it. LA the uh, uh, reverse reverse LA snapback, the cacti hoodie, Calabasas uh, pants, Cal- and- cow sites, cow sites. No, slide, hey, you switched it up. Okay, okay, I see him with the socks. So the socks is from uh, PGH Kicks, and obviously the OG resin slides from 2020, where people was actually able to get them because everybody thought they were prison slides and they shit them. So the OG pair was the easiest pair to get. Now you can barely get them unless you get, if you watched our previous episode, uh, we had a live cop on the previous episode with Bang New York, uh, the, the one prior. And she basically bought a pair of glow green Yeezy slides right there on the podcast while we was doing the podcast. They so was legit too. Those are still affordable. Terrible. That pair was those good. are still affordable right now. If you want some good footwear that's cheap and affordable, I'm gonna plug those right now. I'm gonna put them in the comment section below. But yeah. those will be the foam runner ochres, the Yeezy yeah, I was gonna say that ochres, the Yeezy slide soot, and the Yeezy slide pure. Those three mm-hmm. are all under $200 depending on your foot size. I love it. I love that they are because it makes it yeah. easier. And they For might be it's dropping. About time. Yeah, they might be dropping twenty five dollars lower towards the end of this month. So keep yep. checking back between stock oh, X and oh gold yeah. to for see if you can a decent price for yourself. Holidays is coming up. You might want to get one for your boyfriend. Might want to get one for your girl. Might want to get one for your pit bull. Don't matter. <laughs> they got all not sizes. The, not the pit bull. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next one is the Yeezy Gap hoodie review. So right now we all ordered one, but. We don't have one in hand except for your boy AK Pro. So, AK, as far as quality, like what we looking at as far as quality. First of all, just like y'all capping, y'all ain't getting no hoodies. They all capping. Which what? I did it. <laughs> <We're> waiting. <laughs> what the fuck? I wish We're I just did. waiting. Y'all ain't getting no fucking hoodies. All I got right. the one, the one true hoodie, the one true hoodie to wear them all. This shit came straight from Kanye. It arrived in a brown paper bag. I hope he sneezed on it before he put in that bag. I hope he did too. Now what, (laughs) motherfucker? It's worth a little more. You can get Kanye there. Degrees of separation. (laughs) Fucking greatness on it. Bro. Uh, (laughs) This shit hard, yo. I fucks with it. I know a lot of people are weirded out by the sizing. And um, it's it's very What size did you get? This is a medium. And you wear mediums normally or no? uh, So, yeah, all my... uh, Everything is normally a medium, yeah. Like all my essential size, stuff, man. medium. I may be depending on the fits of like my Supreme hoodies. Tell them your height. Tell them your height. Hoodie. I'm a average size tall person, unlike the munchkins here on the show. So I'm uh, I'm five eleven. That's no, that's no offense to anyone else on the show. Munchkins is a very cute word. Women. How about you, Joy? How tall are you? Like six one, bro. Oh, right. so you we might want to go with a large. Yeah. I got I got him beat. You might want to go with the large, bro. <laughs> yeah, you probably have. Yeah, you probably need the large if anything. Because it yeah. is. I mean, like this is right at my waistline. But I like that though, because you can wear the, the the other tone under it, though. There you go. I mean, exactly. No, no. You know, no. People are like, oh my god, it doesn't fit right. The shirt's showing. That's Duh. the idea. Big, That's the point. Big '90s yeah. vibes. Big '90s vibes. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. And um, yeah. dude, it's thick. I mean, it's uh, it's double layered. It's fucking thick. It's not too. I heard pe- people said that they threw it on and they were instantly like it's getting hot and sweaty. I, I may yeah, not wear this said- the whole episode. For real, it's hot as fuck. Does it keep you warm? Does yeah, it keep it's you like warm? insulated. Oh, it keeps you hot, or not even warm. <laughs> That's good you for you guys. So, if time. anything, I would say yeah. it's, probably, it's probably in between the the Supreme hoodies and in between the Jesus is King hoodie. That heavy shit. And the yeah, vision. Yeah. It's like two layers. Those- uh, I would say slightly like one layer is a little thinner than like a Supreme hoodie, but as stiff as a Supreme hoodie. So it's like two thin layers of a Supreme hoodie. This shit is no joke, bro. Like it's probably the best bang for buck hoodie I have. It's under a hundred dollars. It feels like a hundred. New York. Hey, hey, R.I.P. That's on the lot. That's on the real close, Mike. Yeah, right. 
It's literally that shit sounded like it's down the hall. <laughs> They're driving on your hallway. <laughs> Open your door, Astro. It's probably you on the fucking ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, Yeezy seven hundred V three copper fade. I got you. Got the Ooh. light. You got the light AK Pro. I, I put the um, thing. Up. But long story short, uh, when I first saw those, when I first saw those, of course. The first person in the comment section was Aqua Joey. However, when there's a hair <laughs> or there, I will say I like them only because I thought it was like a brick red. It looks like a brick red. Like, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, there's no way, man. There's no way. I I think I, 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 could, I definitely fuck with them. It looks like but, it's two tone. That's why. Yeah, because I feel the you. The picture what? is brick red. And then the other picture, it looks like a tan or a top. Yeah. But yeah, the blue I is still see. blue. That's that's misleading. That's very misleading, though. No, I'm okay with that. Because I feel I, like... For a really second, I thought the midsole... Uh, for a second, on the first image, I thought the midsole was navy blue. And that got me. That almost Yeah, no, me. for sure. It does look navy blue. But that's why you got to wait for the in-hand experience bro we, we've all learned when, not to judge sneakers from i don't even time. like looking at them at this point when they like this to be honest yeah, yeah. it's um, when i want to see someone actually have them on foot maybe maybe rep god 88 will get them and we'll see them on foot because usually he gets the sneakers and people see the on foot of them before they or, actually... or uh yankee kicks too yankee kicks yeah yankee kicks too because yeah, I'm gonna petition like, that we don't even look at shoes this early on for because it could this could be fucking fake, man. Or just never uh, fucking happen. True. That's, that's true too. That is true. Nah, I, I'll honestly tell you when Yeezy Mafia posted, usually there's some validity behind it. So I mean, they, I don't, nah, because this has been shit that they've posted that just looks like it's never gonna fucking happen. This shit that everybody posts because at the end of the day, you still need content. If there's a mock-up out yeah. there, if somebody has a picture, someone's going to post it. Just because it's That's contract. True. I hope it does fade like, like that sock. The inside sock looks great. Like a trunk Yeah, from hole. that second picture, it does. But yeah. the first picture, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it, they're like two different shoes looking at them side right. by side. Right. I ain't going to lie, I want them. I if the Mitzel was navy, like that first picture, like, like how it looks to me, Again, then, then, then we're talking something now because now it's different. I feel like it really is two tone though. Like it's a sneaker where if you in like kind of like the calcite glows where if enough sunlight hits them, they start to glow. I feel like these yeah, might yeah. be where if you're walking out and about, like you have to be outside in order for it to get that color on the on our left hand side. But on the right hand side, that's if you don't have sunlight. Maybe so maybe are you it saying it's like, like, like that's UV? highly unlikely, but that would be. Dope yeah, well. that would make it a UV shoe. Yeah, that would. Then that cool. would be their their second UV shoe. Third. Yeah. yeah. No, it'd be the second. Yeah. The second, I believe. Second, second UV shoe. The three fifty. But you know what I don't the... like about these overall, like the fact that I don't, I don't even like them at all. But that that <laughs> back where it's orange on the midsole. You know what I'm talking about? On yeah, the back of the, the heel. Yeah. Right. I, that just that doesn't do it for me. It's just weird. It looks like you tried dying them. Yeah, yeah, right there. It looks like you tried dying them. That's numbers. kind of similar to this, Joey. To like the back part of the the four fifties. Oh, that's, that's true. But that's how that's they try the to upper. randomly just like this. I don't understand. But whatever, right? But it's like what what was the what the was the whole design process? This should have left it black, or at least like a charcoal gray. I don't know, but it's just brown. This is brown. And I don't mind that though. I don't mind that for some reason. But on that, because it's on the midsole, it looks like you like, you know, nah, I get what you said. Like, or something, like you know? But I'm not hating on the shoe. I'm not hating on it. It's just I could never. Uh, it's not even attractive to me. I, I get what you were saying though. It's like someone uh, fucked it up by accident and just say, yeah. Like somebody stepped on the back of your shit. That's what it looks like. When is that <laughs> supposed to come out? Uh, December. Ah, uh, damn, December's about to be packed. Once again, it is. it's yay once again. Uh, it's yay all the more yeah. reason why I'm just like, I don't know if they happening, bro. No, uh, it'll happen, bro. Look at, look, you know what else is coming out in December? You might as well pull those up now, too, and see how everybody feels about them. The uh, Belugas? 
No. Uh, the, the 350MX? We did those already. Nope. The, the, blue, the, knit, out. the knit basketball. That's oh. actually our next uh, talking point. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. It's right here. Hey, oh, hold on, hold on. AK, what do you, I want to know what AK feels about this. I'll be honest, I did not like the knit basketballs at all. I'm being 100. I did not like them. I was like, this is unnecessary. I, I put the cages, don't. put the hard cages back on the damn quantum basketballs. That's it. So, However, wait, so you're saying you don't like, like the lifestyle? The, the fake mock up, right? Of the, <laughs> on someone's foot. I was like, okay. I mean, I, I still. And I'm that still was when I saw that mock up on foot. That was like, okay. Yeah. It could rock with I could rock with them. These though, they're not doing it for me right now. They look like like Yeezy's grandma knitted these and are rocking. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> I'm Gucci. I need the this. The front looks hot outfit. right there though. No, go back. The front looks yeah. nice there. But when right. you see the rest of the shoe, it's it's guard, it, it's disproportionate. It doesn't make sense. But this could also be like there is no cage or anything. So it's one of those things, your foot has to go oh, in and it really provides the shape to it. Which I find I have shoes that do that where it's like a, lo a looser knit and it's awkward to me when your toes like move. Yeah. No. Then you see the whole knit I, move. I really want to see more. I don't know how this is going like to work for NMD. basketball. That's how the yeah. NMDs were. Yeah. But no, it has I'm to have a cage. It has to have support if they're going to actually be basketball shoes. I feel like those are going to be actual true to size, just like the, it's like, it just like the quantum. So I got a feeling they're gonna be true to size as far as fitting. I don't like the shape on the outsole here. No, that's me. That's my biggest problem. Yeah. Um, Let's wait though. I'm, I'm honestly I'm not anti. Uh, at this point, I'm open minded to all the weird shit. I'm gonna cuff my Ooh, ankle here. The turtleneck. Even the knit runners, like I still want them. Stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I feel I'm like a circus. I'm gonna circus size my uh, my ankle area. It's weird because the color is kind of like a color that I'm like, damn, that color is a little bit out there. That orange, hey, mustard. yo, <laughs> but I'll, <laughs> you just got I'll, I'll get them. Look, yo, know, I just um, I don't feel like as far as the line design language, this doesn't feel like an evolution of the quantum. No, it's just it's a lazy, it's lazy, bro. And I'm not gonna like, I love. You know, Yeezy, I love everything, but that shit just looks lazy. You got to be a real fan if you can admit that that shit's just, it's not it. Honestly, you know I, I, mean? I, I definitely agree with Capture when I say I need more on feet picks. Like, I'm yeah, going to, yeah. Now, I hit them at first, but someone had thrown a mock up of them on Kanye. On Kanye, right? Like that. That's and not I'm enough. Okay. Hey, maybe it might do something. No, now, that's not I enough. I actually see that on someone's feet and someone styling them. Right. To where you're like, Hey, I see where they was going with me. Like I'm still wonder, on the fence. I'm not yes or no, but it's like it's hard. I wonder to which one's gonna be the I don't first like colorway. This pair, but I like the other colorway that they had. This is, is more blue. Is, is this the first the colorway pair, that's supposed to come right. out? Is this the first colorway yeah, that's supposed to come is. out? It is. It is December. Damn, I kind of like the other one better. Well, no, that that's that's a so you guys know the deal, right? That's the real colorway. There's only one colorway. That blue picture, Yeezy Mafia edited it a little bit. I don't know if you saw that, but if you look at Yeezy Influence and you look at Yeezy Mafia, Yeezy Mafia made it look more blue, whereas opposed to Yeezy Influence, the mock-up picture was gray, like that, like that second photo over there. Yeah, I like that. Like that. I like that. Yeah. I thought it was too. But yeah, we learned what makes no sense to me. But what makes no sense to me is, I don't know if y'all remember it, but remember when they were saying that was a 450 upper? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Well, that one was blue, and that was a real in-hand photo of the knit. So I'm seeing that. That shit looks gray. And then you go back to that first picture, that's actually blue. Like the, like the, okay. the, like the in-hand. So it just yeah. doesn't make any sense. I don't think there's two colorways. Because it's too soon to say, oh, two colorways coming out for a new model. When do you ever hear about that? You know? Right. That is true. So I don't know. I, I don't know. But that blue, I think the blue fits it better, but they're both nice. I like the pattern, but I just don't like the midsole on that upper. It just doesn't match with, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't that's match. Not, that's the main problem we all have is they're taking the quantum, so the quantum bottoms and throwing it on than the prime net of the basketball. So it's like, 
could have did something different, but I guess, and that's where that's where I agree with you, Joey, because you said that's a lazy move. It no, it really is. So lazy when they just it feels like they took the quantum bottom and just said fuck it. But you want to know what's funny? We didn't have a problem with it when it was done with the the MNBN. Mm. Right. True. Right. So which that is, goes which to is... show you that it's just that <laughs> upper. I think it's that upper that nobody likes. Is it the sock I mean, liner? I, I, yeah, it's the sock liner, I think, dude. That's the not stock that doesn't look a lot of it's people. It's not easy to me, bro. It's as not y'all, easy. As, uh, as y'all heard just a few minutes ago, AK said he's gonna have to circumcise his fucking ankles. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's that ankle area you're gonna have to get the pill back. <laughs> Talk a minute. Yo, but I got a feeling, yo, this is, I'm I don't know. I wanna wait because this might be what if it's what if it's so comfortable to the point where you're just ignoring you're just ignoring the, the design. That's that, I don't that, know that, the bottom speakers, but the only thing that's know. gonna be comfortable is the top. The only thing that's gonna be comfortable is the upper. So, and that's nothing different. That's like a four fifty upper. Maybe is it gonna have ankles, boots? It's gonna feel nice. I wonder if it's gonna have. Boots. Well, yeah, there's boots on it. If you do, you got the the bottom picture. Yeah, of you that can shoe? see the boots right oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. And remember on the 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 C teals. Remember how the bottom of the quantums had like that that black like insert on the bottom. Oh, that yeah, that, yeah. like the horseshoe, the the, the wishbone. Yeah, the two tone. That's what's on those. Yeah, these are weak. Next, next, on, next on our list, ask yeah. questions for Joey is these right. the compacts. So, how we feel on those? I, I personally like. I don't really I like. like them. Yeah, I like them too. I won't. I like them. They now, why do we all like them? Think? Because they're called the compact, are those gonna be like even tighter on your feet compared to like you have mm. the you're not true to size in 350s, you gotta go a half size up. You go full size up with these because that front box toe box area looks like it's hugging the hell out of the, the prime knit upper going to the top from the from the heel. That I mean, that's where go from the toe oh, to the man. top. You don't call them compact and then make them smaller. That just that's not that doesn't make sense. I feel like it'll be the same. <laughs> about the it'll front. be the same shoe size for sure. No, that does make sense though. That no, does make sense because when you, something's you, compact, it's small. Is that is that the name they're calling it? But that doesn't mean that they change the actual shoe size of the shoe because you still have to they have to fit. Right? <laughs> they still have to fit your foot, that's right? True. I mean, I'm pretty sure the compact stat comes from this ankle area. Yeah, you know how, yeah, how they loot that the uh, 350 smaller. fit looser. Like most now of them are entire laces. I'm sure the laces are actually going to probably. You know what? Different. Come to think of it, how much lower is that shit going to be on the back part of your ankle? Because mm. I don't I mean, know about y'all, like but have y'all ever like high. hit the back of? Have you ever hit the back of your ankle on something and been like, ah, shit? Imagine on a scooter, ones. on a razor scooter. Yeah, it looks like a 350 with more of the like the um, 380 swoosh on the hump here on the heel. Yep. yep. Um, I'm assuming that they're probably going to be thinner. Most likely. Otherwise, right? Because 350s are wide as fuck around the toe box area. So yeah, that's, that's where you, you're shaving that stuff off on the side and on the heel is, and then at the actual ankle. Doing that makes the shoe more compact in general, you know. I if you give a three fifty more of a three eighty, yeah, I would have size. I would have said, yeah. I'm assuming yeah, the sizing is going to be as close to what Yeezy does. They already fuck up sizing enough to deliberately fuck with sizing. You feel me? If yeah. they the right thing to do would be like, yo, these are finally made true to size. You know what I noticed? Now, that that would, would be, be revolutionary. Mind. Yes. You know? But what, what noticed, this looks like to me is a 380 just with knit. What I noticed about yeah, the, the whole Yeezy yeah, nah, sizing nah. thing, the whole Yeezy sizing thing forced people to really figure out what the hell the shoe size is. Because a lot of people don't even be knowing yeah, they're, they're actual shoe size. Yeah. Yeah, we ran through that like season one. Something. Yeah, no, we really did. And it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, would you, do y'all agree though? This is basically <laughs> looks like a 380 redesign with a knit. I think, bro, I think I it's a 450 it. upper, bro. And nobody said that. Oh, damn. He's right. That's, that's what I think it's like, bro. But it's more, that it was like more like, more upper. elevated. You're right. But that looks, 
but still, it's just, it looks like it might be the same material. Look at the look at yo, look at the the collar, bro, and look at the collar on that. Well, yeah, and then we gotta also remember, right? Like Yeezy's still an Adidas shoe, so like I could pull up, I can grab a pair of tubular dooms, and you can see where Yeezy walked into a room and said, "Okay, this is y'all toolkit. This is the access to technology and design language yep. that we have already." And how I'm, actually, I have tubulars over here, and then that collar is no different from any of their sock line yeah. of colors that they've already the, used the sock yeah. shoes yeah you're right i think it's oh, like a four oh, more, more than a 38 what's good what's that what do, what do you got in your hand right now i gotta click it the, the sock liner same kind of material the stretchy right there on the uh, yeah. top of it with a yeah. prime that goes yeah. to the stretch like you said, but on the easy. 450, same thing on the 450. And like, just yeah. like for those that don't know that aren't hip, like look at tubulars and then look how, what happened after tubulars when you started. Dude, the tubular is like a 350 silhouette. Basically. Yeah, it really is though. Even with the ridges on the sole. Like, yeah, they be following their same blueprints. And that, that, that didn't even copy the V2. I feel like that copied the V1. Yeah. Facts. It's facts. True. Yeah, not definitely, man. I remember seeing people with the original turtle doves, and then wasn't the tubulars around the same time? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, I wanted think, to like, is that the dude. same? Oh, it's not the same. Yeah, I used to get confused it's too. Not. I wanted a pair of those because nobody could afford the turtle doves at the time, and I think most of us Man, weren't nobody. in the loop. I don't even think most of us were in the loop like that no, at the really time. Right. It was not still Jordan, Nike Jordan at that time. A hundred percent, bro. Yeah. And uh, the next, the last piece of our Yeezy uh, news on the list is the Yeezy net runners in that gray color. So, yeah. It had more I think that's a mock-up, though. Show. That's got to yeah. be a mock-up, bro. I'm yeah, it's, sure it's, it's a mock-up. It's definitely a mock-up, but I, I'm appreciating the the Homer Simpson pair more only because I see, I see people wearing them and they're perfecting the fit after seeing what someone else did. And making it look better. So an example would be um, Fitted Fernandez. He hasn't really posted it yet, but he has one picture where he has it on and you can see it obvious. But then he has another one where he had just showed me like a couple of hours ago where he has some boot cut type uh, denim on with it. And it's like, that is the same idea like when you seen Kanye wearing it, when he had the original pair. And I was with like, the blue, with the fleece. Enough. Yeah, yeah, the fleece sign. Yes. yes. So that's what I was like, that's what I want them to look like. So when I saw that he got I told him, I said, yo, make sure you post that sometime this week so people can see that. There, so I've been checking out StockX every day. The price is going lower and lower. Like the, the people who are um, asking for the ask is dropping right. every day because I get the notification because I have the a big going on. The hype What's your wait? Oh, okay. what happened? I said the hype is dying on them, and that's good. I know it usually happens. The hype hype is at its highest when no one has it, and it's only a a handful that have it. Now you see them pop up on Instagram left and right. And And you hear people's opinion on it via YouTube where they're like, I don't think this is it. And it's not really The Yeezy YouTubers, you hear the Yeezy YouTubers say shit like, oh, I fuck with these, which is going to be obvious. And then now, but the full up. sneaker YouTubers, they're like, mm, like it's okay, but this is not it. They they are still uh, preferring the foam runners over these. They're saying they're yeah. like, man, foam yeah. runners all day. <laughs> yeah, what I heard the biggest, they're hot. The biggest problem I heard about the the knit runner is that the bottom, the midsole, isn't as comfortable as the, you know, as the foam runner, right? And yeah. then there's that hump, you know, that little hump in it that kind of looks like the foam runner. Your yeah. toes don't bend in it. Your toes don't bend. So when you're walking, bro, you're literally doing one of these. Uh, oh, so it's more sturdy, more. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's a you know what shoe it's is stiff. like that. This shit, this shoe, no matter how much you can, you're gonna wear this shit forever. Yeah, and it's like so that. it doesn't hard. bend that. Much. It doesn't bend that much. Damn. I wonder That's, if they have the same uh, the EVA foam that they're using. And the, Most likely, have they use that in anything else since the V threes. No, uh, I think they. I, no, 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 no. I think they used it. Well, no. What are they using the five hundreds? The Adi Preen, right? Yeah, right. that's Adi yeah, Preen. I believe. 
Oh, Who's I think that? they use EVA in the 450, right? Is that the same thing? Oh, right? word. That's not like, boost. Yeah. I always thought it was. I don't boost. know what this is. I, I don't know. I wish it was boost. It probably. Uh, it be probably is probably the MVA, cool. the EVA phone. Then you just probably yeah. can't see it. That's probably you know, you know, you know. One thing I keep, I keep hearing from everybody when it comes to the, to the four fifties. Like if you want to get a pair or whatever, they always say they don't fit true to size. They fit like the seven hundred V threes go a half size up. That's true. Oh, he told me that's it's all. True. Phil told me. Everybody tells me the same thing. It's true. But, you don't um, even have one yet, right? Brand. Nah, I don't. I don't have. One. Yo, when we were live a few months ago, you were like, "Oh, I, I might cop one. I might cop one." Nah, you still, we you were waiting for the restock. The restock. Oh, yeah. The well, restock was supposed to be in September. Then the restock was supposed to be in August originally on Yeezy Day. That didn't yeah. happen. Then it went to September. That didn't happen. Then you were going to pay a restart in October, right? You were going to pay a restart. Now, I, I haven't got myself here. I want an yeah. uh, uh, actual uh, stop yeah. I know, I know I would be. I know I would be able to get the the triple black pair for retail. I feel you on that, Laura. I but, personally would only go for retail. I don't think I'm yeah. convinced like, enough and, to resell on these. No, like, the, I, like, honestly, how I felt the about phone. Not that bad. Not the colorway for me. It's still the shape. Like you guys remember if how I felt do. about phones. If you I do was, get them, oh, just go half size. Wait, wait. Whatever you got, I got you. No, AK, AK, I got you. Yesterday, when I went, well, yesterday when I went out, I'm just randomly talking to an old friend that I saw. Dude walks past me with those on, and I finally got to see them in person. I those see them. are different in person. Yeah, but they. That's my first time seeing them. That's one of those things where it's just like, not even no offense to, because like Zeke, all you got actually, Zeke, Aqua, Castro, all you guys be flexing in them joints, but I still, no one's put a fit on with them that have convinced me to be like, damn, those are fire outside of what this person's done, where I feel like, okay, I would want to wear them that same way. And I see, like, I would want to flip it, flip it this way. You know what I mean? Like, when I see foams, I'm like, damn, I could wear them exactly how that person is wearing them in this photo. Or I'm like, I see all these different possibilities with the, the silhouette, you know? I don't so, get that vibe with, um, with those 450s at all. How would you wear the 450 if you had a pair? I, that's the thing. I just, I kind of like with those, the ankle shoes. I don't feel like I, I would wear them in more of an athletic type vibe. But no, I you know what? I, think I, I, I don't like the way they look with jeans. I go with what Joey said. Joey said prior to you saying, he was like, I think you haven't seen someone who fits your style profile rocking yeah. the way you would rock them. So that's why it's so that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like some shoes I'll see, like, as I said before, like I fuck with yeah. that whole early adopting thing. Cause I want to be like, yo, I want to be the person that rocks it a certain type of way. And I also and you gotta wear it. Yeah. You, when you early adopt it, you wear it the way that you think it looks good. Right. right. And if somebody sees that and they're like, Oh shit, he wore them with shorts. That's fire. Oh, I did yeah. both. Bro. I did, I did candle. Uh, and that's what, I think that's the issue for me. It don't work for me in none of those. I just don't like the silhouette for real. I think Europe, bro, the guy that I saw yesterday who had the triple black pair on, he had shorts on and he had socks, but they were super fucking low cut socks. Word. And how'd that look? It was fire. I, really I was like, it, yeah. Damn, I want to wear yeah, them with wow. on a pair. I want to wear them with you shorts. You know what? There were essential the shorts too. Bro. They were I think it looks shorts. better. Put it this way, bro. Sometimes you look at somebody wearing a fit and it looks better on them. But if you put that shit on yourself, you look down. Yeah, at it, it wouldn't be the same. Like, nah, this ain't right. Sometimes yeah, it's not so also, it's not looking at yourself as like how other people perceive you too, right? Yeah, and you, you're thinking about you that. You know that confidence too. You got to be like, yo, I yeah. know I look fly. It may not be from this pers- this angle. <laughs> That's what, outside yeah, you're looking down, bro. It, yeah. Your first person view. When you see it in third, like, yo, honestly, I don't know if you guys have ever done this. Maybe not. But my cousin, we wear the same size, and I'll give him a shoe that I wear that's like basic to me now. It's just like you know, I, I put them on like like I don't know, like the aliens, the four fifties, right? And I watch him walking around in them, and I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, I never realized how fire that shoe was until that seeing happens somebody to me all that happens. That's what's yeah, dumb. Like, that's why fashion that's is that's like that's art. That's it's that's like both of you two, like the both of you stand at exhibit looking at a painting, but seeing something completely different. And that's for sure. Oh, yo, yeah. I love that. So, Definitely um, subjective. 
Now Let's move on to the, the dunks, yo. Wait, before yeah. we get to the dunks, uh, let me ask the questions real quick. So uh, one of the questions I got for you is how sneakers impact your life, Joey? Um, it was funny because when you're at, when you sent me the little cheat sheet earlier, I was thinking about it. Um, it mainly gave me a hobby. It gave me something to keep my mind away from, you know, any other random bullshit. But honestly, it started back in like middle school, bro. Like when I would see kids walking around wearing certain shoes, I wanted to get into that. And I started wearing like, you know, I would go to Marshall's and get Nikes. And then finally one year, my mom got her income tax. And then I got a, a pair of Nike Air Flight Falcons. And okay. when I went to school and when I went and that, that shit was hot back then. That was like the, I don't know, like that was it the, was one of the, you um, should pull it up. If you could pull up an image of it, that would be dope. But it was, it was a colorway that's like not the most popular. It was like black, red, and white, but that shit looks fire. But I remember going to school with that. And I know you probably remember, you guys probably got oh, a couple years on me. I remember these. You guys probably got a couple years on me, but. But I still when remember these. School and wear them with elite socks. Yo, the first time when I did that, bro, everybody's like, oh, okay, oh, okay. You know, back then you would live for like approval. You know, you're young, you're in middle school, bro. So ever since that day, bro, sneakers became something crazy for me because yeah, I remember just hearing all the compliments, bro. Like you'd get the black, like the shoes are black, red, and white, right? I got the red and white elite socks to match with it. And then you got people saying, oh, yo, oh, okay, okay, you're stepping it up. Because I was wearing fucking shit from Marshalls. I was wearing women's basketball shoes, bro. Nice. Shout out to WWE. You know, yeah. you know, <laughs> shout out to Marshalls, too, because Marshalls be having some fire fucking shit in there, in general. Like, Such a like no, Shout out to the, he always takes the shine away from women. Shout out to the WNBA. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the finals. It, yo, it's the finals. You, AK, fuck you. <laughs> it's, a, it's the finals, yo. It's like game one, I think, tonight or some shit, yo. Shout them out. Damn. Let women have some shine. I don't watch <laughs> basketball, so I was... <laughs> I didn't even know that was a women's basketball team. Of course you know. Because they don't watch it. <laughs> nah, yeah, see, I, what Joey knows, I don't watch it, but he was going to say, oh, it's because you don't fuck with women. That's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> AK and Zeke Schmiel. Fuck him. He don't, think, he don't fuck with women. <laughs> but um, tell us about yourself. Tell us and the viewers about yourself. Yo, I'm just 23 years old, still trying to figure it out, man. Oh, you Straight and your Jordan year. You and your Jordan year. This yeah, dude there you go. Who hell and back. God damn. That's Fucking all it is, man. Just trying to figure it out, you know? But the, but the sneaker thing's a hobby I want to run with for a long time because when you can put a lot of time into something and not even feel like you're putting time into it, then, you know, I think it's something else, you know? That's what you should focus got- on. Like what you guys are doing here, you know? If you can sit here on a Sunday night, spend a couple, two, three hours doing this, then, yo, that, that shows you that you got passion for it. So, but, oh, you know, yeah. that's, that's, that's all it is. That's, that's all it is about me. What's been one of your favorite sneaker on Honestly, uh, when it comes to, like, my reviews, are you talking about my reviews or, like? Yeah, yours. Right? yours in like, one that. A sneaker unboxing that you did that you was like, damn, I really killed that shit. I don't know why, but if you watched it, uh, the trophy room unboxing, like, honestly, it's not even about the shoe half the time. It's about the background and what I'm wearing to match the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I articulated it right. Like, it was like so good. One shot, one take. Like, that shit was perfect. Like, if you look at that trophy room review, bro. I come yeah. out of a fucking elevator. I got the 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 bot or the shoe in hand, and everything like the background, the blue, the, the different colors. Like that's what I do. Like you know, there was I a whole like, strategy like, behind it. Like you planned it out. Yeah, and yeah. that's what I missed, bro. Because I haven't done reviews in a minute. You know, I'm just honestly the real the real problem is I probably told like one or two of you guys this shit, but my cameraman, you know, he hasn't been around. Like he's been working and shit. So I haven't been able to have somebody record the videos and I don't oh, want to go. Uh, I don't want to sit there and it's, it's no offense to nobody, no nothing. It's just my vision. I don't want to sit there in front of a camera and, and, and talk about the shoe. 
when I could stand there, have it third person, it makes you look, I, I don't give a fuck, but it makes you look more important when you're sitting there having somebody record you. I agree. Looking at it, too. You know what I mean? Like, it, it gives a whole new experience. Yeah, no, I- but that's what I focused on, bro, was like, let's say if I do a Travis Scott shoe, right? I want a background to be like, I don't know, like fucking like even some of my reviews were like that. Like cactus. cactus Jack. Yeah. But yeah. we're in Connecticut. Can't find a fucking cactus. You gotta go climb a tree <laughs> and shit. Yeah. You gotta yeah. go buy one at Home Depot and just add in the back. Yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> you, yo, no lie, you really can make it work if you go to Home Depot. You could. Some. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, or or you go to like a like a like a, a parking lot. Like that's what I did. If you go look at the Travis Scott Jordan One High review I did, and the 270, it was the same place, but it worked. It, it worked perfectly. But I'll say, yo, one of my favorite reviews are like that when I went to Central Park and did the Chunky Donkeys. That was fire. Yo, I ran into a Ben and Jerry's truck out in Harlem. That shit was dope. Just randomly, bro. That's why I think everything comes into place for you. It's it's true shit, bro. Um, but I say that, yo. Know, just like the trophy room. I don't know why. For some reason, I like that video. And then, of course, the video with, with the the. It's not even sneakers, but the Oreo review with my sister. You know, it's got to have some. Yeah, no, nah, that's to it. Def- You know, so that that's that's that for sure. The trophy rooms all day. I don't know why. If, you got to check that video out though. If you haven't def- seen it. Bro. What's your favorite sneaker from your sneaker unboxings? Like a sneaker that you kept or a sneaker that was a grail that was one of your favorites that to unbox? I had a hard time with that one. Um, I think, damn, yo, that is hard. I didn't do a video on the Wave Runners, and that's a shoe I like, but shit, bro. I don't even know. Hold I on, really let me don't. help you out. Could it be this one? Nah, that that, that, that <laughs> nah, this, this guy. Like, nah. <laughs> nah, that video was fire too. Yo, I pretty answered yeah, the last question. That. that was another good video too. I know you've probably yeah. seen that. Review. Yeah, I've seen that yeah. one. I like the yeah. background. Yo, yep. But um, yep, exactly. I don't know. My favorite sneaker out of all those reviews, it's got to be something like sick, like the sneaker itself. It doesn't even have to be my sneaker. You know what I mean? So yeah. Uh, shit, man. There was never a shoe I picked up in hand. I think I was like, yo, I love this shoe so much. I want to put it on my feet right now. That's the thing, because I can control myself. But I don't know, man. That, that that can be like five different answers, you know? If you just look at the reviews and tell my expression from it, True. like the genuine, you know? Nike or Yeezy? Uh-oh. All three, all three, dude. It's a different time zone, right? <laughs> right. Um, right now, we're right now we're living in Yeezy time, right? Nah, yo, you pulled the season. He pulled the me because we had a we had a top ten sneakers, and I chose a fucking off white rug. At least you didn't say the off white dunks, bro. Nah, it was off white rug. The rug. Ikea oh, the rug. said Nike Jordan yeah. Yeezy instead of fucking rug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Yo, he's different, like, it bro. Was my, it was this that guy's different. Year. It was like, what's your top ten sneaker? And I said, oh, oh. it's a it's a rug. It's the off white rug from Ikea. You wearing that? Are you wearing that shit? Hell yeah! When I put it on the floor, it's in my feet. He <laughs> goes to sleep with it. <laughs> Might do go to sleep with it. Joey, yeah. you don't fuck with Who's the off white dunks. <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay. Joey doesn't fuck with the off white dunks. Uh oh. No, I I got a pair, but I don't want to wear them because it's just a dunk's a dunk, bro. The, the comfort's the same shit as an Air Force One. Facts. Almost. Yeah, nah, that's so, true. Dunk well, why dunk. why am I in a rush to wear it? You know, but I they got don't look dunks. as dogged after you wear them five times, though. No, that's the problem. Dude. It's an Air Force One, dude. That's that's why I don't even like Air Forces, like, to be honest kind of. with you. I'll, yeah, I'll pull I'm them out, though. You, if we got time, I'll pull out the off-white. They're, they're right over there. And I, I'm, Which lot did you, know, you get? 13. Yeah, yeah, pull them out real quick. Pause. Um, I say keep them just, just as a as a collection piece. Just keep yeah, it on the yeah, when, when you hit it, it knows for retail, too, bro. So when yeah, you just, just keep it, bro. You never know. That's so unless you want to sell it later on. I didn't even do a review. No review. Like I told you, the cameraman's been on some shit. So 
These aren't bad though. It's not the worst one I've seen. This is actually pretty. Oh well, yeah, good. you got it goes with your way, bro. Hell yeah. Yo, it goes with your new. It goes with your so outfit. What the hell? You think so? <laughs> bro, bro, you mean yeah. think so? It has the same color. Ah, yo. You it's from being it used to the review. On Come on, season bro. Season two, episode thirteen, where your boy uh, Aqua Joey found out his lot thirteen dunks <laughs> on episode thirteen. No, that's true. Newport. Yo, that is on, crazy, man. bro. That's crazy. Come on, that's a whole fit. And it's funny because you know what? This always came off as red to me, right? Like a, like an infrared. Mm. Yeah. But that shit, it does go with the orange, though. It's it makes orange. no sense. It looks orange to me. That's that's yeah, what I'm and saying, is that the tongue more of a like an indigo or is it more blue? Uh, it's like a it's like a that, that's a purple. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's not but blue. Yeah. And I don't like the blue tongue ones, but you can well, tell right violet, there. Violet, violet. Yeah, violet. Um, I think I yeah, it's like or indigo or indigo. You can call it indigo. True. Yeah. True. But no, nah, yeah, they're, they're, they're nice. But I I tried them on and shit. I thought they looked cool. Of course, I put them on with camo, you know, baggy camo pants at first, it, and that's always gonna be a hit, bro. But True. yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna wear them, dude. That's that's a retail W. I meant to ask you guys. It's just a quick yes or no question. But has anybody taken a retail W this year on something like good? What did he get? I got the sneakers lot sixteen on the dunks. I got the early access or whatever on them joints, exclusive access. And then um, I hit on SNS on the foams. There you go. Oh shit. What phone yeah, color? I what, hit on what color with, uh, the with the same. Yeah, dude, that's, that's good. That's, that's really, really good. I that still got them shits. I think I might sell those. What size? Uh, 11. Oh, word. Mm. What What's a grill you haven't seven. gotten to review yet? A grill that I haven't gotten to review? Um... I don't. I don't really care so much for the the new hype shit, bro. Like you see everybody posting it, bro. You see resellers sitting there in hand, uh, size twelve for sale, seven sixty. So it's like I see that shit all the time. You know what I mean? So yeah. I would say, uh, I want. By the way, shout back. out to them. ASAPs. Would you say shout, shout out to the ASAPs? Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. No, dude, those shits are crazy. But, um. A grill I haven't reviewed would be those uh those menthol. I would like to review a real air mag. That'd be hype as shit. But um I got a f I, I probably told you guys, I don't know, but I have a fake fucking pair of air mags, bro. And I spent a stupid amount of money on it, dude. Stupid amount of money on some fake air mags. They self lace and shit too. Oh shit. Damn. They got they you. -lace. You got to review. No, they didn't get me. I, I feel like I, I bought them knowing that they were fake. But it, I was like, fuck it. I had a, a stupid amount of money at the time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it. I'm going to be immature. And I bought them. And now they sit. That's what's holding up my phone right now. No lie. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Some what's, bullshit. The worst, what's the worst sneaker that you ever well, reviewed? Well, let me go back and I'll say the real, the, the, the sneaker I want to review is uh, those Newport, the, the first bootleg Air Force One, those Newport ones. That would be a fucking hype beats move right there. Forget the oh, air. Oh, yeah. That would be stupid. If he was able I've to never get seen anybody to with them, bro. Those. You don't I've see that every day. With them, Lil Yachty. That's it. I don't know any Yeah, little, and I saw Danny Brown with him, too. Danny Brown. I fuck you know Danny Brown. Yeah. I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, so, okay, so you said what now? What's the worst sneaker you've ever reviewed? Comfort. The way it looks, the color. Is it the barium? No, Sock. hell no. The barium's Sock. hot, bro. Right. I, 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 Lord, Lord would have gave me some brownie points if I said that. You so, know what uh, I mean? We're going oh, for the brownie points. That's not what we do with though. The bariums, we don't count that as part of the quantum family. Yo, you can't disrespect the second colorway of a fucking model, bro. No, that was the no, most affordable bro. one. That's tell the one them. most people have. I would yeah. tell them. Tell them. Like That's the one most people have. Yo, That's like, do, do you hate the 380 mist too? <laughs> Ooh, do you? Ask him the ask him the question. <laughs> do you hate the 380 mist? No. That's the, what's, what's so wrong about that then? What's so wrong about the barium? 
You're right. You got a point. Sense, They're both Lord. kind of the same. They're both I kind of like the same color. I'm going to pick Drake's new sneakers over the barriers. You, Yo. hear, you hear this guy, right? It's all performative. Wow. Though. Yo, kick this guy. No. <laughs> no, you have to quote, you have to quote what he says. Yeah. That right. was that's that's you don't say that. <laughs> I'm going to get a pair of those Drake knockbacks. So the, the Drake collab is better than this? I'm going to send that clip to They're Kanye himself and get you unfollow. You and think it's terrible, bro. That, that shit's like, it's it's very neutral. It will look dude. so good with the hoodie he has on right now. Let's right, see it. Yo, let, right. let, let's focus on right. Lord right now. Yeah. His whole fit is a very Name fit. three grails. I, I can't even tell. Name yeah, three dude. grails. One from Nike, one That's from why. Jordan. You, did, you didn't even let me answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, you're just brushing through it. <laughs> he does it on purpose. <laughs> He's smiling. Yeah. Nah, I didn't, want him to, I didn't want him to say, oh, yo, let's let's focus on Lord. Yo, you, you fuck with the bad. All, right. All right. All right, fuck. We always get off topic, but. um, Nah, what's the worst so thing you feel? Seriously. Fucking like pine green Jordan one two point yo. If you watch that review I did, bro, I was so unenthusiastic about it. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm oh, looking shit. at it, and I'm just like, yo, like, I I ain't fuck with him, bro. That's it though, honestly. Not it was you yo. Go back there and watch that shit. Because no, you should. Dude, I, you should have heard my voice. It was so condescending, dude. I'm looking at the shoe and I'm like, yeah, and I and I sold those shoes to people too, and I'm just being dead honest. I'm like, yo, like. What's the fucking hype about this shoe, bro? The materials were decent. Right. But the fucking, the shoe itself, dude, it's like, who the fuck needs that? A black and (laughs) hunter lime pine green shoe, bro. Like, what am I going to wear that? St. Patrick's Day? (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Damn. You can't look fly in that every day, bro. It's not a daily shoe. You really can't. That's not that. You should have just made that shoe mid. They're, they should have just made it. They should have threw up. some fucking more white in it, dude. Like, make it look at least like the, the, they the, put the, the red on the tongue. Like, what was that? That made it oh, stupid. Like the red. Yeah. The red now yeah, it's yeah, a Christmas yeah. shoe. So now, it was a Christmas go. shoe. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, extra laces. And it came with red laces. It came with yeah. fucking red laces. So, Wasted. Yeah, yeah, they they should have made the whole sneaker like a like an off white. A uh, off-white color, like not full white, but off-white. There you go. Yeah, all, like a sail. A sale. Yeah, that works. Yeah, the original pine. The lime on the on the swoosh, and on the other side of the swoosh, no lime. So you it's, have it, you know, op, uh, op, opposing colors. Way way too far from the pine one point oh. Aqua, that's how I fucks with you, bro. Because you, 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 you appreciate all the shoes, yo. For you to yeah, have of a, it's not even a hot take. For me, that's a fucking true ass statement right there, and that's one of the it's ones garbage. I did. You people have heard me go for every one. I didn't even bother to try for those, yo. The core purple 2.0 or three, whatever the fuck they're at now, those were yeah. nice. The most recent core purple, that yeah, was yeah. nice. That's how they, they should have did, the, right did the fight. They kept it the Chicago colorway. Yeah, true. true. Chicago blocking. They should have did that. But I don't like Jordan 1s at the end of the day, though. Mm. You know, I, I'm not crazy to wear them. And we'll talk about that when he hits that last question. He's rushing through it. We might be there in two minutes at this point. Nah, <laughs> this, this next one is going to be, it's going to take a while. What's name three grails? One from Nike, Jordan, and one from Yeezy. I was thinking about this earlier. So Nike, it's actually a pack. There's three, and th- this goes against those Gundam fucking dunks that are coming out this month. Yeah. I'm not into that shit, but there was three Nike Transformers, Bumblebee, Soundwave, and Megatron, that came out a minute ago, and they came out in the action figure box. You should look them shits up, bro. Them yeah. just, the, the, those are fire, bro. And it was like a Nike uh, Shark Alade, a Nike Raid, and like a, some like Nike pot foam something. It was almost like a foam posit, but that's the Nike grills right there. I could have bought them for like 900. It was three pairs of shoes, dead Ooh. stock in the box. And those shits, they were highly detailed and everything. So that's Nike. I, I had to think about that earlier, but good thing I came that prepared. Like but crazy one too. No, nah, you should look them up, dude. They're, 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 they're really nice, dude. It's like a real, like, 2000s-looking shoe. They're sick. And the box is sick, too. If the shoe's sick and the box is sick, it's a fucking grail. But uh, now Yeezy, easily the, the turtle does. Hey, oh, yeah, pull them up. It, there you go. There you go. Click on the pic. Oh, okay. There's the sound wave. And that's not them. That's the newer shit. Those are fucking booty cheeks. But <laughs> that's not it either. It was, uh, you go, go, uh. 
Look yeah, up. Maybe show, us, show us the one that you really want. Oh, okay, those that. are them right there. All three. Click on that full image. So there's the Bumblebee, Megatron, and the the sound wave, bro. You want the whole pack? That is fire. The whole pack, bro. And I and it came in action fire. figure boxes. That's, yeah, really look at it. That's dope. That's actually really dope. They're sick, dude. And if you like Transformers, then shit, bro. That's that's a fucking that's a plus. And the shoes don't look bad. Look at the Megatrons, dude. That's like some Yeezy shit. That's sound wave right there. The Megatrons, it, it was like that zipper. Like it, it, the shoe zips up. It's like a Nike glove. Okay. Um, and the whole them. pack is like nine hundred dollars, saying, or it was right at the okay. time. At the time, bro, on eBay, I could have picked those up first. Still, I could have bought those Air Force One, the 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 Newports for like fucking six hundred, dude. And I bought those fake Air Mags instead. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> that's uh, that's why I hate. It. Yeah, look at the bumblebees, but the bumblebees are hot though. That's like yeah, an old school light pod. Yeah, yeah, they are dope. But okay. those are so gassed to me. Oh, so glad you pulled them shits up, dude. But so for the Yeezys, dude, favorite shoes are all positive. Yeah. The 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 Yeezys though. Oh, you can see the bumblebees more right there. Uh, it was down more, dude. But the box is fucking sick. You see how it has the J hooks on top? Definitely a collector piece. If you just leave in the box forever. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, but I would. There would have been some point in time where I would have wanted the box. The OG with box Look at that. that. Imagine waiting ten years and then you get rid of them. Woo, that now is vintage. Then you could buy like three of your Yeezy Grails easily Damn and right. probably still have like eight hundred bucks left over. Damn right. But that's like a, oh, yeah, a no. long haul. I'm talking about ten years of holding. Yeah, fifth, ten to fifteen easily, bro. Once it hits ten years, it's considered vintage. They say. Yeah, yeah. That's, I've heard that too. So uh, Yeezy, Yeezy Grail. It's just it's simple as fuck, bro. I'm not paying the money right now unless they restock them shits. But the turtle dove, dude. Turtle doves? You're right. Keep, turtle doves are amazing. Just keep it simple, dude. That's the first 350 ever. So the why first not? First one. The For, I, I honestly, the boots aren't bad, but I don't want to walk around looking like I just went fucking hunting in the woods. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Like, and that's not hate on the Yeezy boots. Like, there's nothing. It's not a sneaker to me. It's a fucking boot. It's a boot, yeah. It's not a sneaker. So, but like, the, like the the five hundred boots, you know what I'm talking about? Like the de the de the sand or the desert yeah, boots. Yeah, those are cool. But those duck hunting boots, bro. Those butcher boots. I, I'm nothing tells me like, yo, I want those. I have to be bored and just be like, yo, let me uh, get for me, it's definitely the the nine fifties though. The nine fifties. Right. Uh, one of I one. Always, what seasons are those? The the, the boot, those boots. Those boots season the first Six. one or two? Season Not the two? first season. No, two. Yeah, season two. Season two? Yeah, because I remember season one was the 750s. Right. Season two, right. Five, which, yeah. is, which is my grill. I will the love to have a pair of chocolates. Again, and they came out with the, the 950 boots. The 750 chocolate is one of my ultimate grills. I yeah, like the, the gray 750s. I forget well, what the so name even of it the, is. The, the, um, the, the Dove white joints. Those shits is fire. I, I just like all the 950s. In if I could get one pair of those, that would be dope. I don't hate on the boots, but like it's just like that's got to be like a one shoe, and that's like not even an everyday type thing. That's winter all day, like those shits. Definitely, yeah, all day. But yeah, easy turtle dove. That's simple, bro. Like who else? Do, who who wouldn't want a fucking turtle dove? Honestly, does anybody no, here I, agree? Like, nah, definitely. I, well, no, I, I wouldn't want the turtle dove. I would definitely. I would settle yeah. for the stripe pack. Either the coppers, the Oreos, mm -hmm. or the the, the um, that greenish color. Shirt. Yeah, because you got more flavor. But for me now, it's a personal preference because I like gray, black, and white. True. You know. So that when I gave you this question, how hard was it to choose a pair of Jordans? Because there's a lot of fucking grails on Jordans. Though. Dude, I'll keep that shit mad fucking simple. Ginger 14s and Flint 15s, dude. Because I only like three models. He went straight for the gingers. I I haven't heard nobody say that since fucking complex sneakers. That's Dude. how crazy that is. There was a ginger fourteenth. Yeah, somebody was like, "Yo, they kept roasting me because I wanted the oh, ginger." Let me see. I'm like, they're lows. Yo, I gotta take a piss so bad, bro. All right, <laughs> All right try to get through this last question. <laughs> I know you're ready for this last question. 
No, look up. Well, what? look up those gingers first. Look up those gingers first. Yeah, I got Somebody was gonna I got do it. Right and the Flint Fifteen. That that shit's so fire. They need to retro both of those, but they're Dude, sleeping. You but they'll, give this fucking, they'll give Billy Eilish a shit. Jeez, bro. Yeah, those shits are gas, bro. I don't <laughs> care. I, don't, I, I, do not give a shit. I I just That's like it. the fact you don't you're not mentioning things that are hype. I like that. Right. Yeah, because dude, it. like, what, what am I supposed to do? Pick a fucking what? You want me to pick the Travis Scotts, dude? Like, fuck that. Most people no, would. That, that believe it Most people would. Bro. You would dude, just say, what was the other one? Fine. I can go on stock and buy a Travis Scott right now. I can't buy that on stock. Stick to what you like, man. The flip like. Yeah, the flip fifteens. Oh, those are so gas, bro. So it's like a quantum. It reminds me of the quantum every single day. Oh, you Jesus. did mention this before. To me, actually, you mentioned how this reminded you of the quantums. Look I at that, it. dude. That stock image. Go to the stock image. That that first one, that very first one, dude. Yep. That shit's gas, bro. Mm. And that's that's hard for a lot of people, bro. But for me, dude, that thing is sick looking. Hmm. Oh man. I Interesting silhouette. Yeah, put some guac and dip chips in these joints. These shits weird. I'm a I'm one of those old school heads. Like I don't do too much beyond thirteen. No, that's true. I, Yo, I like thirteen too, AK, but there's AK, there's no grill. Hit me with that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. Don't go but past thirteen. Aqua is younger though. So Aqua being younger. True. Yeah. That also but, is he's like these were hitting at a separate time for him. And he keep it the game, but I, I mean, I respect the whole just not. Oh, it makes sense. Game. You look at the Billy Eilish collab. Oh yeah, wait. Do you I fuck with the Billy Eilish collab? I do, but I, I'll take yeah, this did. over the Billy oh. Eilish any day. I had the Obsidian 15s back in like 2015, 2016. The Obsidians, those Columbias are hot too. Those UNCs right there. Yeah, that's another nice colorway, but that's the thing, they don't just come out with 15s like that, bro. Right, right, they, they really don't. don't. This one to the so blue that's moon. why that's why I'm hungry. I want a pair of them. I want to, I want more now. Pairs. You know, which ones that I've recently started to like in the past maybe two and a half years? The 14s. Oh, dude, so I, those shits are easy. 13, to like, the bro. 14s have like the 14s have kind of grown on. I, I bought my I bought my grill 14. Look up the, the black toe 2005. I, I had two pairs of them too, and I got rid of one. Oh, that's those. Those are nice. You can't even turn those down, yo. You got to see these. Yeah, these are actually kind of dope, though. Yeah, I could it's uh, it's not that first picture. It's that uh, fourth one in. That's the 05. That's the only one I like. I don't really care for the the, the remake. Oh, but those the remake turn yellow super quick. Well, no, like no, the, they don't. The vintage look on that one in my basement, and they still look I'll the work. same. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see that? You see that yellowing right there? That's really pearlescent flake. It's like a, it's like a goldish mm. pearlescent. Oh, dude, those things are, those are nice, dude. I can't even lie. But that's it for me. Four, 13, 14, 15. That's it. Anything else is just casual as fuck. I got a pair of flints. That's probably like the only 13s I really rock with. Yeah, those the- are hot. And the cherries, the cherries are real nice too. Uh, for me, this was the. Craziest W that I got on the sneakers app because it actually worked. That was I'm surprised it. you didn't pull oh, up. Was that Space other. Jams? Nah, the eleven uh, cap and gowns. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, what's an overhyped sneaker silhouette? I know where this is going. Let me get my drink. I know. You, no, going. you chop it up real quick. Let me get my piss, dude. I got <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, go so, ahead. <laughs> I already, I'm prepared for that one, but I'll be he back. Said, Let me get my piss. Let me get my piss, dude. <laughs> Do you hold on, Lord? Do you wear those Jordans? Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. Yeah. To work or like just? Nah, I wear them. <laughs> to work at the warehouse, like the yeah. <laughs> those definitely warehouse worker shoes. <laughs> and yo, it, damn, that's not yo. Okay, since you said that, I know you know about that world, warehouse working. Yeah, no, nah, I know about that, man. My whole I'm life, deep. I pretty much worked at warehouses, so I already know that vibe. To me, it's better than what I'm currently doing. Like, I'd rather be hands-on with stuff. Really? All right, my I'm, job, I'm not really hands-on with shit. I'm watching people on the camera. So it gets creepy after a while. But don't you, like, talk to people? I mean, I mean, I don't know, like, what you really do, but it seems like you're around they people. Me, yo, I'm not even going to hold you. They ask me sneaker questions occasionally. So. Okay. Yo, 
this? Should I get that? So, it's so expensive shit to rich white people all fucking day. Like, warehouse people be real. People in the jewelry store, fake as fuck, yo. I hate it. You serious? I'm gonna gotta wear a fucking suit while I'm doing it, so I feel like I'm posing. Like, oh, I know what you mean. I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't like doing that either because then you go home very tired because you had a. But you know what? Train something though. else. Yep. Let's get to the Nike Dunk SB Mummy real quick. Nah, I let's save that shit for Halloween, bro. He said right. Halloween. <laughs> he said let's save that shit for Halloween. All right, so you want to go straight to fit of the week? Yeah, like I need to fucking go, my guys. Yeah, nah, let's go. Uh, let's go straight to fit of the week, and then when he get back, we uh, he can answer the question. <clears throat> All right, good shit, good shit. All right, we're back. All right, what's the worst? The worst overhyped. What's the what's the an overhyped sneaker silhouette? Like the worst silhouette to you. I want one of you to take a guess of just one shoe, just one person. Jordan one. Damn. Jordan, Dude, Jordan one. Jordan. Jordan one. Nike Dunk. The lows and the the Crocs and the fucking uh, the Yeezy slides. Hold on, with the Crocs. Wait, those are Crocs. The, Ye- the foam runners. No Crocs. Just Crocs in general. Vans too. Fuck it. We'll throw Vans. Hell in there, yeah. Bro. yeah. <laughs> Fuck, yo, you got some good answers, yo. Yo, you want to know something? I want to know where did all this hype from people wearing Vans? I wore Vans specifically because I fuck with the skate park a lot. L.A. people I'll, started I'll, that I'll, way, I'm bro. I'm curious I'll as to why people... L.A. Vans, people took the Vans to a different level. Hey, Vans. How long ago were you wearing Vans? Or how long ago was it when you started wearing Vans, Lloyd? How long ago? 2009. Oh, you got some years on them. Yeah, I've been wearing them. I told you, I've been riding BMX. What colorway? What, what were you wearing? The, the slip-ons, Checker. the Tom's? No, the slip-ons. Def Leppard. Def Leppard Vans. Yes, that's a that's a um, collaboration pair of a metal band. It was yeah, I know Def. Def. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white, dude. Come on. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. <laughs> that's racist, uh, uh, Joey. Some, 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 some of us don't know who Def Leppard is. I had the Sorry. Metallica there as well. Though at the time, those were my grails. I barely wore them shits when I rode my bike to the skate park. I wore the the other ones. They had some, a Simpson pair that I had, and I wore those what, two. Back then, then they I had, had Simpson the, Vans back then too. Yeah. So they brought them back. Yeah, multiple times. And maybe <laughs> retro and Vans. I didn't fucking huh? know that. I didn't know that either. I'm a Chuck yeah, Taylor kind of guy. Nah, You're like, a what? A I'm Chuck a Chuck Taylor. Taylor well, yeah. I'll tell you something about those. Those aren't even overhyped. Chuck Taylors aren't even overhyped. No, right. they really aren't. They're underlooked. Mm-hmm. Over. I, I had the the DC. I used to wear my mom's fucking Converse, bro. They were the DC, the the Marvel, like DC mm-hmm. and Marvel from Journeys, bro. It was like Mister Freeze, fucking you know, the Joker, and Batman. It's exactly where I went to get my fucking bands from. Dude, where else are you gonna go? That's that's the <laughs> because at the time they weren't even selling them in Foot Locker. That's how overhyped mm-hmm. they are now. And Crocs, dude, they got yeah, you gotta go journeys and zoomies. Crocs this is everywhere. what I don't like about Crocs. Everybody fucking wearing Crocs think I'm weird I'll, for wearing these. I'll the tell you what, nigga, like you wearing Crocs. Crocs? I'm not wearing Crocs when I got on phones. That is not the phone is all you need. Yeah, I'd rather be barefoot in my casket than have a fucking pair of Crocs on my. Hey, hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking men, yo, fuck I don't that. care how bad Shorty is, she gets an instant pass if she comes around wearing Crocs. I don't, I don't, I don't care, care if you're a nurse. I don't care if you're <laughs> yo. a fucking nurse. You know how many nurses wear Crocs? Yo. That's the point. Yo, I don't even care. That. I'm gonna talk about that. Do you want to know what I don't like about Crocs, bro? 2012, 2013, it was a fucking, either you worked in a kitchen, either you worked in a fucking nursing home or you were a nurse or you were a fucking old motherfucker wearing them to the water park, bro. And I'm not lying, bro. I went to Walmart with my pops twenty circa 2013, 2014, and I'm dead ass, bro. My dad picked up a pair of some Duck Dynasty camouflage ass Crocs, bro. And... And I look at him, he's like, I'm going to wear these to Florida when I go to Disney World, son. 
And I'm like, dude, <laughs> son. <laughs> hey, son. That's how he talked. Hey, son. <laughs> dude, so he's like, I look at him, me and my sister are looking at him like, yo, what the fuck? And this is, this is 2012, 13, 14. And we're looking at him like, yo, why the fuck would you ever wear those? And then, <laughs> dude, like, because they were ugly, bro. Crocs were always known as an ugly motherfucking shoe, dude. And so he wears them anyways, blah, 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 right? So now years down the line, in the past two years, it's Yo. still false. In um, the past two years, it's not even three, it's not four, Crocs became popular. Me and my sister went out to fucking, because she was going to work in the kitchen. Bro, we went out to every fucking store. Kohl's, uh, kitchen outwear, or some fucking place. Dude, trying to find Crocs. They didn't have them. Now you can go into any fucking store and buy Crocs. But here's my biggest thing, right? Anytime somebody has something to say about me saying Crocs are a trendy hype beast or a, a dick rider, that's what I call it. Fuck saying trendy, a hype beast. It's a dick rider shoe, bro. Hell yeah. No, I really so is. this is there my biggest go. problem. And anytime I say that, this is what people say. But they're so comfortable, but they're affordable. So if they were so comfortable and affordable, why the fuck weren't you wearing them five years ago? Mm. And they are not even that comfortable, yo. My little yeah. sister's trying to be like, they're so comfortable. And I'm like, yo, no, what it is. Put on my yeah, phone runners. Put on my phone runners. I can tie your shoes. That's all <laughs> where it comes down to. Like, these motherfuckers ain't want to tie their shoes. They don't want to tie their shoes anymore. So they're like, ah. But am I right, though? Like, yo, that that's I was really thinking about that today. If they were so comfortable and affordable, then why the fuck weren't you wearing them three, four years ago? Mm -hmm. If they were, just, if they were affordable and comfortable, true. you can right. buy them anywhere. So that's what gets to me. And, that, and that's my biggest problem with Crocs and Vans because same people say Vans are affordable. So you see how you feel about the Vans? I feel that way, but my way that I feel is just a tad bit different only because when I see people wearing them, I'm like, oh, you skateboard. You got a Thrasher shirt on. You got a pair of Vans on. Oh, you're, you, you, you're the same guy who says I'm you're the same guy who says you can't wear SBs unless you're a skateboarder. Nah, I don't say that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, but you know, I know. You know, I'm what, you know what we had that, that, that Nike killed off? I don't know if y'all remember this, but they had... The 3.0. The 6.0? The exactly. They 6 had FPs, the skateboarders, and they had 6.0s for BMX riders. Those were I hot. I had dude. a fuck ton of 6.0s, and I still got some in my closet. Them shits were ridiculously uncomfortable, but they got the job done because... my. BMXs don't use brakes. Our feet are the brakes. Are the brakes? You shove it in the exactly. back tire. You you put it on the ground, bro. Exactly. So, like, whenever I've seen people wearing shit like that, I just uh, yo, you want to skate park? Oh, you don't skate. You don't ride. No, they're just affordable. Oh, and they're clean. I was like, man, a pair of nice, a, a clean white pair of uh, Air Forces. You could have did that. I'll say for the record, bro, when I was in high school, I, I'll tell you my story with bands, bro. I was friends with two potheads, dude, and white kids, and they fucking, all they wore was Vans. They didn't mess with Jordan. They fucked Nike. They didn't care about Nike. All they wore was Vans. So what did I do? One Christmas, I went out to the Vans store. I bought, like, two pairs of Vans, and they were clean, too. They were different. It wasn't the, tr you know, traditional black and white. Yeah. And I wore them, and I wore them for about a month. Actually, and I said these are the most uncomfortable ass shoes I've ever worn in my life. I never owned a pair at all. They're just customized. Bro. I customized them, of course, so they've but, been around me. But I never actually owned one. Converse are more uncomfortable than the Vans, though. I will admit that, just because of the upper, just because of the mm -hmm. upper. And I had an all black pair of Converse too, and those were fire. But I had to run and get these real quick because these was the only ones I could find. What the what the, what oh, the fuck okay. are those? Oh, remember oh. that yo, that's half cabs. Those are half cabs. Yeah, half cabs. So remember the remember the golf wang vans. Those yeah. were fucking sick, dude. Nah, those are definitely fine. I like those. green, pink, but then blue, pink. you know what I think made them hype as well is when um when this dude started doing the collab with Fair God and Vans, and then people just oh was like, yeah, oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, and then not even that. that. You know what else did it too? The Revenge Storm, the Ian Connor shits. Yeah. Nah, and those shoes are fucking... That's, that's the blue Because, the because blue people couldn't get those or the Fear of Gods, they got regular Vans. I uh, honestly feel like the Fear of God Converses are better than the Fear of God Vans. 
Might be I a like hat. I've never, I've never I've, paid attention. I've never seen a pair of Converse um, fit. No. Definitely. It dropped like 2019, early 2020, before a lot of casuals started fucking with the whole essentials. I vibe. feel like I've seen them one time, but True. they look like regular ever. Converse's, just um, more fear of God design. Like Yo, that's, that's three different. takes. That's three takes of like we hate the way culture has taken over a certain part of our life. For me, and oh, I, yeah. I hate people it, taking over I, the I BMX with, with, with like they wearing vans, it's like you don't even do this. Yo. But you, and then for, for, I know it's always like that for AKA Pro. The casuals wearing the fucking essentials when y'all never liked them to begin with and then just random people wearing it. Like, and don't even it 2019, I couldn't look up like the current like fear of god fit or jerry lorenzo style without people being like jerry boys jerry boys you guys all wear plaid and sweatpants this you guys are bums uh-huh. everybody have a job and in the pandemic and, and now everybody wants to wear sweatpants and shit and and one meme one meme hits that home so well there's a meme with a girl wearing an essential shirt right and she's a like guy asked her, god, jerry. <laughs> guy asked her oh you know you, you rock fear of god she's like huh He's like, oh, never mind. He she off. don't even know where it's from. Right. Don't even know where so it's from. Girls come oh, around and be like, oh my god, I didn't even know you wore jeans. Like I wear jeans once every once in a while. I'm like, oh, I don't oh, like, like, like trying to be funny. Like now, but now they never bring it up because it's like abnormal to wear jeans now because everybody right. sweats. It is weird, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. It is weird to see somebody wearing blue jeans nowadays. I still love them, but it's a time and a place for everything. No, how you, yeah, know, I you know what you see that now? Joey, Jeans are dressy. You would see that, you would see that heavy casual. in Cali. You know yeah. that, right? Joey, What'd you, you would see blue jeans heavy in Cali. Actually, yeah. denim, while we're talking like about blue jeans, let me, let me pull up some of the fits of the week because uh, I think two of us have fits with blue jeans in them. Not True we, story. Right. That's kind of fine. The oversized, oversized, oversized vintage, 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 vintage the denim is the thing here. Like It has to be like a little bit oversized. Let me check this out. It's my right, fit what's this? Right? What are we working with? Whose fit is this? this is my I don't know. He wearing he wearing the knit runners. Let's go. Whose fit is that? And he at the beach. All right, he a bad boy for that one. Because I would fire. So he took it to the beach fire. with this. Definitely, I like the way that background is, and I like the mask. He's out of this world. That's what he's going nah, for. Nah, bro. That what he's is that behind grid, him? Bro. He's what not is that behind him? Just a oh, I don't know, man. A frame, a big ass. That looks dope. If they added that there for the image, though. That's some squid game shit. Yo, it is some squid game shit. I wonder. Yo! (laughs) Damn. But that's dope. That's creative, man. We hit it on the head. I like the color of the jeans. You know, I like like the film grain grain layover that he has in the background when you go to that second picture. I can't can't tell. I can't tell, but... That no, nah, that picture that's a nice, that's a grit, that's a fucking cover of a magazine picture. No, no, that's an album, that's right, really. an album image. Like, if he that's was an a, artist, that, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice that's cover, album cover. Hell yeah, no. where he at? Florida? Right here, he post- he got that mask on? I don't yeah, know, dude. That looks <laughs> cool. that, that, that's gotta be the this for bro. And All right. that was, that's, that's my that's my pick. I picked that outfit. Sure, I think yeah, that guy, yeah. I mean, I. I mean, it's simple, but he kind of killed it. I mean, to me. So I want to say if this dude is supposed to be wearing a large, it looks like he went a size up. You know what I mean? Whatever size he's wearing, if it's a small, it looks like he went up to a medium because of how low it drops. And it looks good, yeah. though. I was worried. I like, that, like what he chose to wear on feet. With I wonder how tall he is. Yeah, that dude's like 5'10", bro. That, that's a yeah, short five. motherfucker. I can tell. And that's no disrespect, but he looks short <laughs> Hey, feels like he's my point. height. <laughs> if, if 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 you're if yo yo, I'm gonna be real with you because the hoodie fits him, right? The hoodie right. fits him like a hoodie, but I don't see unless he's wearing a short ass fucking medium t shirt. Nah, the shirt is right there. It's yeah, I can see the shirt, but there's not a lot of there's not a lot of uh, hang time on that. Shirt. Yeah, right, yeah, right. So he, he might probably be got short. a large. He probably got a large. Yeah. That's I real, think he got West a medium, side shirt is gonna. How much, how much do we want to bet? He got a medium, bro. That kid, that probably he probably wears a medium. Is anybody ins- asking him about fit sizing uh, on his comic? No one. Nah. Uh, nah. Nah. No one asking him. Okay. 
Yeah, he's a short. I want an easy hoodie, bro. I want the blue one, bro. That's the only one I want. And I, I slept, overslept three hours on that shit, bro. I still have the opportunity to buy a blue gap jacket, but I bought a large. And I feel like that shit's going to look like a fucking. You're going to be swimming. Yeah, <laughs> dude. And I'm skinny. I'm <laughs> tall, but I'm skinny, bro. And You might I'm have to wear it with a hoodie. I look like I came out of a Missy Elliott video wearing that shit. <laughs> Yo. All right. That was funny. And that was, that was funny. Pick of the week. Who, who's, whose pick is this? You know Mine. who it is. Don't be asking. You know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to be funny, but you know what? I'm glad it's AK and Yo. Not, not Zeke, because if Fat Boy Fashion was here, he would have been going in and Zeke would have just... Zeke and AK would have jumped me for this one. Oh, he's Go picking ahead, them bro. again. Oh, I'm wearing it to give him a pass now. Lord is just, he's picking Yo, whoever whoever's shit. taking their pictures, though, all jokes aside, whoever's taking their pictures is putting their fucking work into it. This one is a uh, hard. No, no the quality of the image is great. Yeah, that don't work. This is, this is not an iPhone type of quality. It doesn't look like it's an iPhone. I can't tell from here, but. The, the 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 positions of the photos aren't bad though. The bag is mm-hmm. fire. True. No, nah, the bag definitely fire. It might be an iPhone. It might be the 13. Because I see some photos oh. taken with that 13, and that shit is ridiculous. Oh, okay. No way a camera go. on the phone should get that good. But then again, shout out to myself. Yes, I am shouting out myself. My past that, couple of photos yo, that I've taken. That's a yo, dick move. Ohio, bro. Make sure you follow nah, me. I'm not going bro, for it. I almost picked Lord for her. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm with the himself. iPhone 11 Pro Max. Those are all. This is with a fucking 11 Pro. He, that he, picture he, right there is. I like that's that. That's a gas picture. That shit's fire, bro. Yeah. But go to, his, go to his most recent. You can tell he just drank a few fucking cacti's. And it was like, yo, I'm feeling this fit. I'm feeling this fit. I'm taking a picture of myself. And you my got the Apple yo. Watch on. You got the Apple Watch to hit the photo. No, it's cozy, bro. Yes, I do. I'm not he lying. <laughs> I know the vibe. Look at the room, though. The whole vibe. room looks like a vibe. No, hell yeah, dude. That's just it's okay. So it's wow. I took some photos in a uh, doctor's office. That's all with the 11 with the Pro. like this with the lights. So the lighting makes such a big difference with your iPhone. Oh, I'm guessing you got good lights. Cause this shit looks professional as fuck. And that was what was that front camera or back camera, Lloyd? That's uh, back back camera. cameras, yeah. Yeah, it makes which sense. The, which is front the camera's that? It is. Is that just different? No, nah, but also I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a put y'all on. Buy one of these from Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description for people who want one themselves. Oh, you want one? Uh, this there? right here. It's for you to clean your lens on your phone. Everybody needs one of these because people be walking around with muddy ass photos looking like swamp booty. All right, that's cool. Enough. Enough. I'm gonna people, use my t shirt, bro. I'm gonna use my t shirt, but so many people don't realize you gotta take your fucking, you gotta clean your screen, yo, the lens. If you don't, really, one bro, moment, this, that lens that shit, one good scrub, bro. Belt tip. For the yeah, put that in the put that in the uh, link, yo, because I'm like, right. I and then it also has that? another side. See, you're yeah. not saying the price. You're not saying the price. That's the important part. Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. That's, That's a sell point right there, so, bro. So cleaning the screen where like a cloth is not enough. You got to get yeah, that? that. Cleaning the screen has nothing to do with you taking a good photo. Cleaning the, the screen, lens, dude. You wipe off that lens, bro. Yeah, take that a t-shirt. Take, take a little bottom of your t-shirt. Give it a little fucking. That's what I do. That's what I do too. I'm gonna put this link in the description for y'all. You should, you should, you should, bro. And that's Shout why your out. photos only look okay compared to Lord's photos. Damn. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> Damn. That's a hot take. <laughs> Damn. And until next time, this has been the Yeezy Season, the Sneaker Syndicate Podcast, Yeezy Season Two, Episode Thirteen. Shout out to our host for being so gracious and hilarious with his responses to the questions we asked him. Shout out to Aqua Joey. Castro Picasso special, Pro for coming through and helping with the technical difficulties of uh, Fat Boy Zeke being lost in between Cali. So <laughs> shout out to him for that one. But we until next there. time we see y'all, peace out. Peace.